Okay, this is the uh, silver going down now. What you'll see is also a bit of black in there, which I took out from the last, but since I'm doing the brim, these bits won't really be seen. Right, so this is a modular clamping system for phones, cameras, and things like that, GoPros. It's on Thingiverse, and there's about 30 different parts you can then load. Um, but basically what we have here is a clamp, uh, a screw, uh, and some sort of angle lengths which then fit together to give you, you know, like an arm that moves. Okay, this is stage one, and I'm using the silver PLA that I bought on eBay. Obviously this is just in a, a quick go at the start of it. As you can see, I used to use like glue on it. Um, but now I just try to do it direct onto glass. I mean, I might change it. There's no benefit for it apart from a bit of a shiny surface on one side. But I might end up using the blue again as it does seem to hold a bit better. Um, and you can get away with a smaller brim and things like that. Okay. Uh, next video coming up soon. Okay, so now we're at four and a half hours and 65% into it. There may be some problems with certain things as I didn't put a lot of support in the actual item. Uh, bottom right, you can see there's a circle forming through the item where a bolt goes. Now, hopefully that should be okay because it's quite a small and the overhang can do it. Um, normally I do 0.2 and the overhangs you can have a greater but um, with 0.3 um, it might be a bit messy uh, so we'll have to see um, now there are some other things being built which might be a problem um, I haven't I didn't really go into it too much before I set it all up in at the time but on the bottom or right side you can see there's a long thing well that's a bolt now I'm not too sure how the screw is going to turn out once it's done. Hopefully we can test it once it's made. Um, but so far so good. I mean the items are built this way and not vertically. Um, a for strength. Um, it's like wood grain. It's going to be harder to break it if it's laid this way than if we had it standing up. I used to make wands. Uh, and you'd stand them up because that would be the easiest thing to do. You lay them down, you end up with um, support material you need. But straight up, you um, do it quicker with no support, but the trouble is the grain is literally going sideways through the wood, so it's very easy to break, as I found out when I then dropped one on the floor and it broke with no problem at all. Um, obviously this is a clamp. Um, you can see like you can see some of the things that's the thing there where it's producing the hole we just have to see how it goes okay again we'll port it on later okay so here we are it's been going for quite a while now oh that's literally the end there's the um screen so you can see what i used seven hours uh, one minute um, I'll give you the details later and that's basically it. oh the other thing I wanted to do was let's see how easy it is to get off saying that it's still hot so normally you'd wait for it oh there we go I say it will be the good thing about printing on glass you don't have to worry about getting it off But I'll, be, uh, I'll show you some more from outside. Okay, so I've taken it outside. These are the parts. Um, let's see how close we can go with... the camera. I mean, that's as good as I can get it. Seems okay, I say it's uh, thicker than normal, 
0.3 millimeter rather than the 0.2 that I do. Um, the only other thing is I'm not too sure. Again, I thought it might affect the rings, but it hasn't too much. They seem like pretty clear. I suppose well, let's help it out. The nuts formed okay, obviously there was overhang. Oops. There, which is why that nut could be better. It didn't do any supports, it seems like. I suppose inside there we have a problem. But again, because I didn't do any supports on it whatsoever. That's it. Um, I'll take them off and then we'll do the next video. Okay, I've cleaned up some of the pieces, um, just so you can see roughly how it goes together. As I say, you've got these different parts that will allow you to do different things, bend in different angles, um, like this one allows you to go from a vertical to a horizontal. Okay, so this one was the C-clamp. The problems I had with this one were these were quite tight even after I'd um, cleaned them up. I've put a bit of olive oil, but as you can see now, you can see through the hole. Um, the good thing about it being quite tight is um, you won't, you know, need to sort of tighten them too tight because they're sort of on their own. They can be quite tight as it is. With the um, screw bolt, basically what you have to do here, you print it down that way as in the, the image I mean as you saw earlier and then basically you cut off as much of that as possible so I sanded it really could do with a bit more sand again it was a bit of a problem getting it through the hole but um, eventually I got there again I put some olive oil on it just to make it a little bit easier and then as I also printed off the end cap for that this a bit further and that will clip on like that uh, oh, come off is easy oh, okay, that's on. again I need to most be clean the edges a little bit maybe or clean the inside of that I think if I did it again I'd do the 0 0.2 size because I did do um, quite a thick 0 0.3 um, so the idea is that this would clamp onto a table you would um, be coming off at that angle you could then use the, well I can't find it now, the adapter to give it the vertical, so make it then go vertical, yep, you could then go vertical, have another one up from there. Um, so yes it works, it was really a matter for showing the, um, fil the filament as well, and that's where it was hit hitting the glass. Um, I'll try to close, let's do it close if I can. I see nothing wrong with the filament. Um, it's quite big um, overall because um, I did it at 0.3. Like I said, I would normally do it at 0.2, but a nine, it was going to be an eight hour print and I managed to get it by six hours, get it down to six hours doing it this way. Um, yes, yeah, so I'd do it differently maybe, maybe next time, but because I was restricted by time, which is why I did the 0.3. Okay, this is an ongoing thing, so um, you'll see this every now and then crop up as I do different bits for it and to figure out the nuts and bolts for there. I mean, maybe they're plastic or maybe you can do them in metal. I'll check that out. Okay, I'll link to the Thingiverse um, page. And I say there's different mounts for different things. There's about 30 different downloads for different parts, uh, like shorter versions of these. Um, different sort of mounts for different things like a tripod mount I guess with a normal uh, screw fixing and so on so you can adapt it for all different jobs okay thanks for now um, I don't know if this is going to be the last one of this video uh, so please like subscribe hit the bell button leave a comment uh, and I'll get back to you okay thanks for watching